see the heart as an electrical organ. It produces by far the strongest source of bioelectricity in our body. Up to 40 to 60 times stronger than the second most powerful. Fully heart in tune with the quantum field. At such a level of openness and, and vibratory awareness. Your body is like a radio transmitter receiver. If you don't have enough energy in your system and you're trying to send thoughts out into the universe to cooperatively affect your reality. The human body has an aura of electromagnetic light energy that radiates far beyond the boundaries of our physical body. Doing another simple experiment with our radio antenna, we can see that a weak or static radio station comes in more clearly. There was a way to raise the human body voltage, which is the electricity in our nervous system, to higher levels. Yeah. Super athletes train to get their nervous systems up to two full volts per cell, which is 2,000 volts. The cells would immediately recover and start to proliferate and the cultures will flourish. The relevance about all this is that we go back to the nature of the human being. Vital to clear your space on that level. As all seven of our body's energy centers send out living light waves of different frequencies and amplitudes, they are also sending out our personal information. This means our inner spiritual architecture represents a personal signature of our knowledge, experiences, desires, feelings, true intentions, and deepest thoughts. This signature will be met with a response, whether we are conscious of it or not. I recognize this biochemical description in 1985. Uh, I was very much amused by it because I said I, I've heard that exact same definition somewhere else. Something is wrong with their child, no matter where their child is on the planet. That this is a very, very uh, common experience that if a child is hurt, a mother will know this, even if she's on the other side of the planet. This is just a, a, a demonstration of the fact that the communication between individuals can be picked up through this vibrational field and specifically through the receptors of identity on the surfaces of ourselves. Well, the significance of that is it doesn't have to be your own child. It's people that you actually complement with out in the field can communicate across these distances. Might, might, might see them occasionally as quantum noise, and that, that may well be the origin of quantum noise. So you end up with a, a system which you can... A man being turned on to a woman over here and another man not being turned on. This woman literally activates some circuitry inside of this man that, that completes his energy. And ...spread all over the surface of the planet. Significance is this, is that then two people have two physical bodies and they can interact, but they also have two environmental identifications, meaning some kind of energy in the field that is unique to them. Since the field is all entangled and integrated with each other all over the world, that means people are never really separated from each other by physical distances in regard to their personal identity.